Curls and Couture began in 2012, and it began as a result of my natural hair journey. Um, back in 2012, when I decided I wanted to go natural, a family member had told me I wasn't the natural hair type. So for those that of you out there who are who have natural hair, I'm sure you know that and understand that there's no natural hair type, right? Um, and at that point, I, I felt a, a challenge. I was like, well, how can I not be the natural hair type? I was born with this hair on my head. And although I had been relaxing my hair since I was in the fourth grade, I still felt that I wanted to see my curl pattern. I also understood the implications of relaxing my hair for such a long period of time and, and the negative implications that it had on your body. So I really wanted to just see it. I was curious. It, it wasn't necessarily I was dead set on doing this, but I was curious on what it would be like, and I wanted to give it a try. And when that family member told me I wasn't the natural hair type, I was like, okay, well, now this is a challenge. I'm going to show you that I can do it. Um, and in that same thought process, I also thought, well, how dare you tell me that I can't be the natural hair type? How dare you tell me I can't be anything that I want to be? And I, I had really never experienced, yeah, I had never experienced that before. Never someone telling me that I couldn't do something. I've been blessed to be surrounded by a lot of people who've always encouraged me. And at that time, I decided with who's my boyfriend at the time, um, I said, you know, I want to do this. And I told my mom and they, a lot of people encouraged me. And I was like, well, I'm going to make a YouTube video. So that's how it all started. I was like, I'm going to make a YouTube video, share my story, walk people through this journey with me. And that was going to be the end of it. I had no intention of actually becoming an influencer or a digital content creator, a blogger, any of that. Before I knew it, more and more people were asking me, well, how are you styling your hair? What are you doing? They were asking me for tips. They were saying that I encouraged them to go natural, um, asking me for more and more content videos and Instagram posts. So I just continuously kept giving people what they asked for um, until before I knew it, I was actually getting paid to do what I was doing as more so a, a hobby, as a creative outlet, um, just sharing my story and experiences. And that was really exciting. It was exciting that I could get paid for telling someone how, you know, how I do my hair and that it can inspire them to do their hair a certain way. And I also wanted to show people not just about natural hair, but about their skin care and about dressing and styling themselves and to encourage them to embrace their own style, not to let anyone tell them that their style is not cute or it wasn't pretty. Same thing, you know, same thing with their hair. Um, encourage them to not let their insecurities take the best of them. So that is pretty much where Curls and Couture is now. Now I've had the opportunity to travel, um, to go international, to go travel the United States domestically and share my story, share my experiences and talk to women of all ages. So some of the brands that I've worked with include The Wendy Williams Show, Essence, Dark and Lovely, and Under Armour.